Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So I wanted to give a very quick PlayStation 5 update. So about an hour ago, this tweet came through from Slayer's Govi, and it says, added code for truly arbitrary function call. The POC, or proof of concept, now lists the root directory, which is not possible from Java. And he provided an ISO image, which if you go to this link right here and open up mega.nz, you can simply download the ISO image. Now, you will need to have a Blu-ray burner as well as a Blu-ray disc that you can write it to. You'll also need a PlayStation 5. And in my example, I'm using a PlayStation 5 4.03 to test this on. So what makes this substantially better is, is that before we were only able to list out the app zero especially if you take a look back at some of my previous videos, that's what we've been able to do. So let's go ahead and let's get this burnt and we'll try it on the PlayStation 5. Okay, so I have went ahead and I have installed Image Burn. Image Burn is completely for free. And since I've downloaded that ISO image, what I'm going to need to do here is I'm going to need to write the image file to the disk. Now, I've went ahead and connected up my Blu-ray burner as well as put a disk in there that I actually used from the previous video. So we will need to rewrite that image. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Write image to file. I'm going to select a file here, grab the BD dash jb ps5.iso and i am going to go ahead and click burn and then i'm going to click yes on that screen and it will go ahead and initialize my blu-ray burner and get that image burned to disk i'm just going to go ahead and take off this check mark right here for verify because i don't believe that we're going to need that and it should just take a moment Okay, perfect. The operation has completed successfully. Let's go ahead now and let's take that over to the PlayStation 5. Okay, so over on my PlayStation 5, I'm going to go into system and then console information. And there you can see that I am running a 4.03 system. So let's go ahead and let's head back. And so we'll go ahead and we will put in the Blu-ray disc that I just burned. and it will recognize. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and go to play and we should see the app zero as well as the root directory and there it is. So as you can see here, we have the directory listing of app zero, which is what we already had, but now we have the directory listing of just the root, which is pretty interesting because it shows some things such as the disk. So in the PlayStation 4, we were able to actually see what was on the disk. This one doesn't have that just yet, but you can see that there is a disk directory, there's a download zero, a system temp, dev, system EX, app zero, AV contents, and a few others. So definitely there is some progress that has been made into the PlayStation 5 scene. So I thought this would be kind of cool to share. So anyway, leave your comments down below. Do you think this is pretty cool? Do you think that we're getting in a better spot for PlayStation 5 homebrew? I hope so. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!